All right, let's go ahead and count down from bow when we're ready. Sherry can kick us off. No commitment to publish it or anything. Perfect. All right, let's lean away. Big lean since we got the trunk in the middle of the dock. One hand on, ready to shove and shove. And I'll have us push off on one and three. And Sherry, once you are free, go ahead and take a couple strokes. And Mike, feel free to push the rest of the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can <laughs> we can set it up. <laughs> and Sarah, go ahead and add in. So the focus that uh, our coach gave us for the day in his absence is a little bit thinking about um, feathering and then just getting some miles uh, once we've kind of got that down and continuing to work on that. So we'll talk through different aspects of that as we go along. Megan, when you're ready, go ahead and join the two of them. And sir, you can go ahead and drop out and let me have eight and six hold. And we'll keep going on one and three. And Megan, if you want to throw in to practice that feathering, you're welcome to. <laughs> You'll do that, that left hand. We'll just do a little bit of tilt down. Yeah, that wrist, yeah. Might as well get a little casual practice time with that. And you'll know, you'll feel it for everybody if it isn't fully squared up. Because you'll feel that scary feeling of the boat about to take the oar out of your hands and <laughs> suck it away. Let's go two more. Just one more very light here with this group. Baby stroke, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and sit easy. Okay, in our stern. Let's start with stern six, we're ready. We'll sit ready at our finish. So Megan will be in, including that group and everyone in front of you. And we'll pick it up on the feather here while bow pair sets it up nice and firm for us. So to start, yeah, good, good change with the handles. All right, ready in stern six, nice and slow on the feather and row. Let's just see what we're working with. Really taking our time. There's no no need to put any speed behind these recoveries today. Give ourselves time to think and feel. We'll try to get some real finesse going with this feather. We're going to work our way into a pause at body over, arms away, body over, where we spent some time pausing already this season. So let's start that pause in two. Here's one, normal recovery, and two, pausing body over, and we're feathered here, and then we'll square up first thing, and then we'll return to this position after our stroke. Ready, go, square, and forward. Yeah, pausing every stroke, and go. And go. And go. Yeah, good, this pauses. The legs are still down. We haven't brought the legs up yet. Ready, go. Yep, nice. And then we just finish after the pause by bringing the legs up, and go. 
And let's experiment with finding ourselves far enough off the water here that we have room for the square. Ready, go. And go and try to find where that optimal spot is off the water. And go. And you'll feel that out for you. So maybe it's a visual cue of how far away the oar is from the gunnel. And go. Of course, that's going to change every boat, every seat, every body. And go. All right, on this one, we're going to switch. So let me have stern pair. Go ahead and set them flat. We'll sit easy. And bow pair, go ahead and join us at body over. And we'll have you guys join in on the pause here. Ready, go. Body over pause, yep. And go. Let's keep those feet in contact with the foot stretcher at our pause point here. And go. And go. And after the pause, if you want to lift the toes up to activate the legs to come forward, give that a try. Ready, go. And go. And go. Nice. And go. We got a nice sound as the squares happen together. We can listen for that on full rowing too. And go. And go. And go. And go. After we square those hands lift up into the catch, just gradual lift up. Ready, go. And go. Nice. We'll swap on our next one. Ready, go. So from here, let's have five and six guns sit easy and stern pair will join us at body over. Ready, go. Same thing. Yeah, and Chang is still in. Yep. Yep. Well, let's pause at our body over. Good. And we'll keep going from here. Ready? Go. Stern pair and bow four. And go. Good. Let's really try to feel that square up on the inside hand only. Outside hand is loose. Ready? Go. And then get that outside grip back on for sure by the catch. Ready? Go. Nice. And go. And go. We're just giving ourselves like little checkpoints related to feathering that we can put in our self-coaching loop as time goes on here. Ready, go. And go. And go, lifting the toes, legs come forward nice and controlled. And go. Yeah, check back in that we're finding that height where we can square up comfortably. Ready, go. Yeah, on one and four, we can tap the hands down just a little more at our pause position. And go. And go. Yeah, nice. And go. And go. Finding pretty good heights in our stern pair. I see you guys working on that. Ready, go. Yes, nice control. All six here up to the catch. Ready, go. And we'll make our next swap here. So on three and four, go ahead and sit easy. Shang and Megan, you can sit flat. And then on five and six, let's meet them at body over. We'll continue. Ready, go. And then we'll stop for everyone to get some water here. And go. Yeah, just really firm against the water there in our setting pair. Yeah, Chang Jae, go ahead and lift those hands up a little higher. There you go. Yep, push against the water a little bit. Yep. Nice. Ready, go. And go. Yeah, so when we're down, ports, if you're down to that side on port side, you can lift those hands up a little bit more. Ready, go. 
<laughs> Paradoxical. There you go. Yep. And go. Yeah, even more to adjust that set here. And go. Nice. Yes, that's it on the set. Good. Keep that firm pressure. And go. Yeah, really beautiful control from everyone here. And go. Let's make sure those catches get in sharp and quick now. Yeah, nice on 86. And go. And go. And go. A few more with this group. Nice and clean. Ready. Go. And go. And go. Yeah, not bad. Just that was a good one, Sarah. Just anticipating that catch, so you're right with Sam, the white blade. <laughs> Ready, go. Tough job in bow pair to match up. <laughs> good. Find that set. Ready, go. All right, with this group, let's have two more nice ones. And go. go and we can just weigh it up at this finish here all right go ahead and get some water again we have many waters on offer <laughs> up here as spares if you need we won't even charge you if you're a guest around with us <laughs> yeah let's give it a little bit of uh, port lane while we work on the spacer on the starboard side. If anyone else feels any changes you want to make from that initial paddle, go ahead. So we're just adding little elements to our mental checklist. Am I feathering with my inside hand only? A good, a good hint if you ever feel like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Like I can't get my oar out of the finish. Oftentimes that's that's because you're feathering with both wrists and you're not really pushing the oar down at all, even though you feel like you have done something. Um, and Sherry, when you're able, go ahead and take a couple here. Yeah, maybe let's go like one more for now. Still getting water. Yeah, that's good there, Sherry, thank you. Anybody have anything they wanna pass up for me? Or any brilliant feathering tips you want to tell your neighbors? We'll, <laughs> we'll keep talking through more, but I'm always down to hear people, you know, share with each other what their body cues are for good feathering timing. All right. Really not bad. I mean, really nice execution of that drill. The key is like when we're back at full strokes, bring it. <laughs> bring that same you know timing of the square up like you almost can't be too early <laughs> especially because there's a delay between thinking about it and starting it um if i can have sarah taking one or two winds change a little bit here <laughs> yeah. yeah that's good there sarah thanks yeah it's, it's good feeling stuff all right, let's go ahead. We'll just do a little more sixes here with the stability and then we'll try a little bit all eight. So let's have stern six again sit at our finish. And these are gonna be full strokes this time, no pause, but we'll try to keep it slow and try to feel the, the finesse of that feather timing. All right, ready and go. And when we're out, we're just really firmly setting, doing that work. Feel free to set the oar on top of the knees. When you're out, set it on the thighs. Just keep it nice and stable. So even though the pause is gone, think about meeting each other at that spot. Yeah, Sam and Domingo, nice timing. Yeah, Megan, that's it. It's really just a small movement with the fingers, maybe a little bit of wrist on that inside hand, the hand closest to the painted part of the blade. And then you'll feel through your forearm that click as the oar goes onto that flat piece of the green collar there. 
and that's how you know you're square without having to look. Yeah, staying finesse on timing here, that's good. Yeah, just a little bit of anticipation, you know. Don't wait till you see the person in front of you square. <laughs> And then it'll be too late. Same thing with the catch. In two, let's have bow pair in, stern pair out, that's one. And two, bow six in here. Yeah, keep experimenting, keep experimenting with where do my hands need to be. Just stay 
along and relaxed here, feeling that click through the inside forearm as we square, listening for that to be together. One click. In two, I'm gonna add in three and four. That's one, just nice and light all eight. And two, three and four in. Let's sit up tall, long spines, breathing. And eyes forward. Let's go first five just to focus on moving together here. Blades in together. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Smooth as we come forward. And five. Good. Staying on that timing. The arms away and the body over is nice. That swing and that arms away is together. Let's keep a little more control with the legs all day. That's where we're starting to rush here. Relax. Better? Yep. Relax. That's it. Good. Yep. If we get out of sync, just jump back in. Rejoin us at the finish right here. Perfect. We got 250 meters left. Just a light paddle. Squeeze the core again, stay tall. So we got a set boat to practice the square up. Finish, square, finish, square. Yeah, nice power application on that drive on the side. <laughs> Good, bring back the control up with the legs. Getting a little quick there again, relax. Yeah, use those hamstrings to control as we come forward. Give ourselves time and control to think about that square. Coming towards those final 100 meters now. Breathe, let's keep the grip loose. Outside arm nice and loose. Check in on that outside wrist. Let's keep that flat at our finish. Outside elbow at the end of the handle there. Outside arm, point that elbow out to shore. Yeah, we're relaxed in the shoulders, relaxed in the forearms. Good. All right, for fun, let's take a last five with a little bit of oomph behind them. See what we can do with some run. Here we go. One. We're already picking up a little bit. Two. That's it. Breathe and follow. Three. Last two. Four. Nice. And five. Let's wind up. All right. Go ahead and get some water here. How's everybody doing? Anything we need to pass up? Everybody feeling okay? I know we're it's much cooler than prior weeks, but I don't want to assume <laughs> what it feels like from your perspective. I think everybody's making nice adjustments. You know, I'm trying to give us just our one focus of the feather finesse and everything related to that, but even when we've touched on <laughs> other elements, those have come together and cleaned up. So nice, nice stuff. And our little mixed group here. That's the beauty of rowing, right? Can all jump in. <laughs> have a nice row. Yeah, so set your legs. <laughs> Make sure you think a little more. Absolutely. Mike, I've got some wrenches and stuff. I don't know if that's of any help to kind of help you push it out or like a screwdriver or something. Dirty. Uh oh. <laughs> you got something to cure that, I'm in. <laughs> It's 
always nice when that happens. So I'm like, no complaints here, we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> As nature turns us again, feel free to pass up any uh, questions you got for me or, you know, concerns if pace is not, if it's too much for us. Honestly, I have not really been following. <laughs> uh, have not have not given our rate a close look, but I haven't felt bad about it. So I would say probably it's in the 18 to 20, you know, range or maybe a little higher. I can look closer on this one. I'll plan to do a few power tens. All right, let's sit ready on one and three if you guys are hydrated and we'll take a few strokes. Feel free to put them on the feather here. Just take them slow, keep working it out. Go ahead, yep. Yeah, 18, 19, 18, 19, so. <laughs> Pretty good thing state for me. Let's go two more from you guys on one and three. That's one. <laughs> and two, Lena. It's the kind that it feels like an 18, but with rush, it feels like a 20, right? <laughs> but we were good at fixing that up. All right. Okay, good. So we'll plan um, to kind of head back in the same way. I got 722 on the clock here. Um, and when we get to our all eight segment, we'll throw in some power tens as we've been doing throughout the season. You know, nothing not trying to go crazy on rate but just just see what it looks like it was kind of fun at the end there to add a little power behind it because i think we've got it it's coming and going we're just naturally hitting our stride sometimes so um let's start with our stern six and we'll do the same thing we'll pick it up controlled on the feather here ready go and of course feel free to get additional sips of water as you rotate out we'll just do the same thing rotations and then some all eight That's nice to start us off. That's all right. Sam could take a little backsplash, I think. carry those hands just a little lower on the recovery so that we got room for that square yeah for the hands to just come right up into the catch the catch is a really nice chunk day i like the timing <laughs> and if i'm overruling what you learned in your sweep world sorry <laughs> but appreciate you blending in all right in two let's have bow pair in stern pair out here's one 
two bow six rowing. Good, so our outside wrist stays loose and flat. Grip is loose with that outside wrist, the one right at the end of the handle. And we get that outside elbow pointed out to the shore at the finish. No shoulder involvement. Just going for that chicken wing kind of look. No T-Rexes down by our side. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna feel a little bit heavier this way with the currents against us, sitting about 18, 19 again. And let's try to stay a little bit longer in our finishes. Really pulling through the body here, leaning back to that 11 o'clock position. Good, yeah. Good, and now let's just find that timing. Moving slightly quicker out of that finish in the bow pair to match up. In two, I'll have stern pair in, five and six out. Here's one. And two, finish. Megan earlier that it takes it takes time no one's gonna be perfect on their first day many experienced rowers are still struggling with aspects of the feather that don't come perfectly so <laughs> the goal is get it in muscle memory eventually that was a couple nice ones there Mike with the oar height sometimes you got just a little bit of push down in the catch with that outside hand like right there Chang Jay just the slightest bit slower coming forward here to match up a stern pair. Again, I like the catches that are happening back there. About another 10 strokes will be on our way through our 1K bridges. Nice control here. This is really nice. Still finding that engagement with the legs and the core at our catch. Squeeze and send. Shoulders relaxed. Squeeze and send. Good. Nice recoveries here. I like that we've got time to think about it. Timing is good, Dina, on the square. Five and six in, three and four out, that's one. And two, five and six in, three and four out. Just keeping that set nice and firm. Good, yeah, nice setting. Nice timing bow pair, that's good. Sherry, same thing to you that I've been saying uh, to four and seven here, just lifting up those hands a little more as we come forward. You've got the space, you've got the space. 
You're plenty far off the water, so you won't hit if you give that a try. Good, yeah, staying connected to our power here. Keep those arms relaxed as we drive through, starting with the legs. We're getting ready for our ollie. There's a little traffic in this part of the river here. Yep, just checking in on that set again in three and four, good. All right, in two, I'm gonna add in three and four. We'll keep it relaxed. Here's one, moving together. And two, first thing, let's just focus on moving those bodies together. Good, keeping it on the legs. More control as we come forward. Again, let's keep those feet pressed against the foot stretcher. Ball of the foot in contact. Yeah, at our finish here. And then again, we can lift up those toes as the body pivots forward to come forward with control. Control. All right, let's take our first power 10 here. Stay relaxed. Let's put it down into our legs. In two, here's one. Let's build. And two, all right, 10 on, controlled, one, a little more send, that's it, two, breathe, good, three, nice, four, 25, good, stay right here, five, shoulders relax, six, seven, swing, that's it, eight, good, keep squaring early, nine, one more and we come back down, 10, and let's come back down to paddle. I'm gonna let this boat behind us get their speed a little bit and then let's try to use them as a gauge for our 10. See if we can stay ahead of them a little bit and then we'll stop after that. Let's sit up tall. We're gonna take... All right, in two, let's build. That's one. And two, all right, let's take 10 right here. Here's one. Two, give them something to fight against. That's it. Three, three, four, sitting up. Five, timing together. Six, that's it. Sharp. Seven, square them up, get them in. Eight, last two. Nine, one more and we weigh enough. Ten, and weigh enough. All right, get some water. Oh, is it raining a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> At least we're going to stop rolling. Cannot stop really, guys. <laughs> that wasn't us, don't worry. <laughs> I just wanted to give a little something for you. Some water again. We got extras up here if you need more. Yeah, That's all right. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> bad there I saw a lot of us as expected being like let's just throw it all away and push and <laughs> we kind of lost our, our efforts on the square but that's the goal I mean that's why we you know train it at lower rates and then build it up so how's everybody feeling Thirty-five. Means it's 
smidge early, but it won't take us too far. Go back down the front. Yeah. Yep, I think let's um let's have eight and six hold and when you're ready, when you're hydrated on one and three, go ahead and take a few. So in our last bits here, we'll do it a little bit more, you know, like on and off strokes with the goal of like, can we can we bring that effort that's coming on the paddle, you know, to our higher strokes? That's the ultimate goal, of course. But it takes time, so nobody nobody should be beating themselves up like <laughs> one of the many things that adds to our <laughs> list of things to think about. But again, nice stuff. You know, if you have any last things you want to pass up of like, can we please do this? Can you stop doing that? Send them up. <laughs> but good work, good work everybody from the practice. And we're not too far from the dog if things open up. <laughs> All right, let's take just one more on one and three. Appreciate you guys being our turners of the day. Okay, final moment to hydrate if you didn't. Let's take a peek at our slightly higher rate on the way back 20, 1920. Faster splits, nice. With the wind on our side too. <laughs> um, Sarah, if I can just get like an arms only from you. Perfect, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and sit at our finish all eight. We'll pick it up light on the paddle. We'll just take it down to about the 500 and then come back. Ready, go. finding control and timing again I think we're moving fairly well out of the bow together with the arms and the bodies it's just those, that leg speed that's getting a little bit out of control sometimes that's it but we can make changes so that's what matters yeah just staying internal here breathing I'll wait for a little bit of a wake from this launch to pass. And then once we're in cleaner water, we'll get ready to build up. So find that square up together. Not bad on the set here, sitting up, pulling high into the chest in our finishes. All right, in two, let's build for our power 10, building over one. And two, we'll take 10 more in this direction. That's one, square, two, square, three, four, feeling that click, five, nice, maintain, six, good, seven, eight, last two here together, pushing one, two, and wait up. All right, let's have ports hold. Good, I saw more of us able to, to implement there, so. And keep experimenting, keep experimenting. Like, I'm glad that we're finding our optimal heights. All right, we can keep holding all four ports for now and on one and three, go ahead and bring it around with some paddle strokes here. fit in on the way back with traffic, maybe like one or maybe two more of those, and then we'll be on. Before we get too wet, all right. <laughs> Let's take two more, that's one. And we can just go lighter on this one. And two. All right, let's sit at our finish, all eight. We'll do the same thing. We'll pick it up on our paddle, focusing on squaring up. Set was not bad on that paddle down, so let's keep that up, ready, go. Keeping the bodies nice and tall. The neck is long, shoulders down away from the ears. Re 
relaxation of that upper body. Good, and now find that control as we come forward on this one right here. Control together. Even more control. That one was it, yep. Good, glue your eyes to that person in front of you and then find a body cue for that square up. And keep the grip loose, that way if the oar does bump into the water as we square, it's not <laughs> taking advantage of you. Yep, keep that grip relaxed, the oar will just bounce to its natural height when it's in. All right, let's build to our 10 and then we'll drop it back down on the paddle. We'll build over our next two. Here we go, here's one, squaring up. And two, together here, one, and on. Square two, square three, square four, square five, tapping down and away all eight. Six, seven, 27 here, eight, breathing, nine, one more, we'll come back down for a paddle, 10, back down, big shift down, good, last few strokes here, okay, and we're going to squeeze in our last 10, to take us to the finish line here. Let's build over these two. This is one, breathe, and two. Last 10 hard strokes of the day, and then we're home. Here's one, shoulders relax. Two, into our legs here. Three, moving together, that's it. Four, that's the energy we want across the line. Five, good, sitting up. Six, seven, pulling high, port side, that's it. Eight, last two, nine, one more and 10 and we can wait up. All right, now wait for a spot. Nice job, yeah, if you need a little sip of water here, go ahead. I think I can sneak in right where we docked. All right, everyone in the bow, let's set it up and I'm gonna have stern pair ready to row. We'll start with full strokes. And row. We're gonna squeeze in right where we left from. Nice job, everybody. I got 742 on the clock, so we'll get this clean, get us out of here on time. And two, let's go to arms and bodies. That's one. And two, arms and bodies. Let's go two more, one and two, and up. And let me have Sarah hold to start. Sarah, go ahead and back it one. Yeah, just keep going light backing. Let's see if we can get Sherry on here. All right, go ahead and sit easy now, Sarah. That's good. Checking on that um, other boat. I think we're gonna get you guys in the bow. Just keep leaning. Okay. And then Dina, if you want to start backing super light. Yep. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and lean. You can wait, Dina. Thank you. Let's lean big to port. Yep. Get Mike's rigger on there. All right. Nice. 